This is one of our favorite recipes at Sweet Freedom. It is a cauliflower and potato salad, a creamy cauliflower and potato salad. And it requires a little bit of effort. It's super easy. Anyone can make this with just a bit of time and attention. And the time you invest is absolutely worth every single bite. So first we take one whole head of cauliflower and remove the stems. Then once all the stems and the green underbit is actually removed, we're going to cut the cauliflower into four quarters. And if there's little brown spots on your cauliflower, you want to take those off with a sharp knife. You don't have to be too pedantic about it, but this is a great way to use up that head of cauliflower in the fridge. And once you've quartered it, you're going to just take your knife and remove the core on an angle. And once the core is removed, you're just going to break it up into florets. And so you have nice kind of bite-sized pieces once they actually bake. So not too big, not too small. And you're going to place those on a baking tray lined with a silicon mat if you have one. And then you're going to take a red potato, a fairly large potato, and you're going to slice that into chunks. We're doing a cross section here with two slices and then into about one and a half centimeter thick slices. And then we're going to place those on the baking tray as well. Then we're adding two tablespoons of olive oil. And on top of that, we're going to put some curry powder and some sea salt to taste and a bit of black pepper. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your hands in there and make sure the oil is completely covering and coating all the sides of the potato. And then you're going to do again with the cauliflower. I like to really massage it in there and make sure that the oil is really adhering. And what this does is it creates a barrier so that these don't dry out when they're in the oven. So that goes into the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or until they're tender. And then our dressing is basically a matter of using your high power blender and you're going to add one cup of soaked cashews, one to two tablespoons of coconut milk, miso paste, one tablespoon, the juice of half a lemon, one tablespoon of maple syrup, some salt to taste, about two tablespoons of curry powder. Just make sure your curry powder is fresh, it'll make a big difference. And then you're going to add water to a desired consistency. So you don't want it too wet, so it's watery, but just enough that it's going to bring it together and create this thick dressing, like a mayonnaise consistency, that's going to coat all your vegetables. But you want to blend that until it's fully blended and homogenous. And then you're going to remove your vegetables from the oven. And the great thing about the salad is you can actually do this while it's warm. It's not gonna, the dressing's not gonna break up. Or it's equally delicious when it's cold. So just place your dressing over your vegetables and you can start with a bit and then see if it needs more. Um, you don't have to put it all in at once and you can save that dressing for another time if there's more left over. Then you're going to completely combine the salad, making sure it's completely coated. And then we're going to add one to two tablespoons of pickled onion, depending on how much you like it. And we have a recipe coming up with that. And a tablespoon of spring onion, and then a tablespoon of coriander, fresh coriander or cilantro, and mint. And then again, just making it fully combined. So you have all these wonderful flavors coming together to create this beautiful potato and cauliflower salad. And you can just garnish it with some extra green onion, spring onion, and some cilantro or mint, whatever you like. This is truly a crowd pleaser that is going to nourish your body, tantalize your palate, and feed your soul. So for more delicious recipes like this that won't spike your blood sugar, are super easy to prepare and absolutely delicious, click the link below to find out more about our 21 day sugar-free challenge.